Hi, in this video we're going to go over hosting and SEO. So there are a lot of different questions people have in regards to hosting, um, particularly with SEO. So a few of the top questions are, is, host, is one hosting account enough? Can I link my sites together? And are add-on domains okay? So we're going to go over those three um, along with a few other things, some important things to think about, and a few things that really just aren't a big deal but a lot of people worry about. So I'm going to get into each one of those things. And the first thing that we need to look into is understanding hosting. Understanding that, you know, shared hosting is very normal. Most sites on the internet are on shared servers. Um, so shared hosting is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. And most webmasters don't need to worry. Um, if Once you start getting into, you know, private blog networks and, and things like that, then you need to start thinking about uh, diversity, not only IP diversity and Class C, you know, the Class C diversity which may be over your head or, or not depending on uh, your experience level but whether you understand that or not it doesn't really matter the data center diversity is what's important uh, when you get into private blog networks um, and things like that and in that case you want to look at the data center diversity not just the IP diversity not just the server diversity but the entire data center diversity because if all of your links are coming from you know one or two data centers uh, that's a red flag and if you don't get penalized uh, many of those links probably just aren't going to count or they aren't going to be nearly as powerful as they could be. Uh, if you only have a handful of sites then one account is, is fine. One ho shared hosting account even would be perfectly fine. If you have 50 plus sites and that's just a thrown out their number um, there's no magic number um, in the same niche or that link together then you need to think about data data center diversity and the sites in the same niche that's kind of a shady area you know it, it, you could be perfectly fine with 50 even 100 200 sites on the same server um, in the same niche you could be um, but whenever you're you have that number of sites on the same server in the same exact niche it's just something that could possibly raise a red flag depending on what you're doing so you could do that just be careful uh, but if you're linking your sites together you definitely need to be thinking about diversifying the data centers the uh, basically getting different hosting accounts or getting accounts on sites uh, hosting companies that offer different data centers so you can get the diversity in there. Um, again, it doesn't necessarily mean that your site's going to get flagged or penalized, although it possibly could. Most likely what it means is a lot of those links are just going to be devalued um, pointing to your site or just not counted at all. Can I link my sites together? Interlinking your own sites, sites in the same niche is natural. So if you have, you know, let's say you have five different web properties, whether they're websites or web 2.0 sites or whatever they are, um, it's natural for you to link those together. Don't, don't be afraid to link sites together in the same niche. Um, as long as it makes sense. I mean, look at some big brands out there. They have all kinds of different, or big companies. They have, you know, their different brands under them. Uh, they have sister sites, etc., and they're all linked together. And that's a natural thing. That's not, you know, companies trying to game Google. That's just companies, uh, you know, letting people know, you know, their associations, um, selling products, etc., from their sister sites, and and etc. So, don't be afraid to link relevant um, sites together. It's natural. Uh, but don't interlink irrelevant sites together because that's not natural. You know, who links to a completely irrelevant site um, from their site? Um, you know, maybe some spammers, that's about it. You know, there's really no reason to do that. Obviously, there's cases where it makes sense, you know, linking to your uh, help desk. You know, your help desk isn't the content on your help desk isn't completely related to your uh, product in many cases although sometimes it is it depends uh, you know if you have a bunch of different products or not uh, but you know there are different situations where it makes sense and there are times where it does not make sense so if it doesn't make sense don't do it it's just not going to do you any good if you get into private blog networks which are a good idea um, these days they can be powerful but you want to make sure that when you do this that you diversify uh, the sites across different data centers. Don't interlink private blog network sites uh, if they're on the same server. You just don't want to do it. <clears throat> um, if you have a private blog network, you just you shouldn't have them on the same server anyway, um, because 
if you're linking to your own sites. Now, if you have them um, linking out to different sites and it's only, you know, a small percentage of the backlinks to those sites, then it's perfectly fine. Um, but if you're going to be getting a lot of links from the, net, the, the network, then they need to be on different servers because if a majority of the links pointing to one particular site are coming from just a you know a handful of data centers and a in one geographic location that's going to be a red flag and again uh, those links are probably either going to be devalued or not counted at all are add-on domains bad for SEO no in most cases add-on domains are perfectly fine just remember that they share the same IP so an add-on domain is whenever you have a shared hosting account um, you log into your cPanel C and you add a domain to that same cPanel instead of you know adding having separate cPanels one cPanel per site on like a reseller or a dedicated server um, you just add multiple domains to the same cPanel and that's perfectly fine it, cre it does create a subdomain so uh, whatever your primary is, primary domain is, let's say it's redwidgets.com, um, whenever you add an add-on domain, let's say it's bluewidgets.com, it will create a subdomain. So it would be uh, bluewidgets.redwidgets.com. And that's perfectly fine because that subdomain doesn't get out there in the public. It doesn't get linked to it. It doesn't get promoted. doesn't hurt you any bit you know, whatsoever. Even if Google uh, came across that subdomain, it really wouldn't matter. Um, because your links, your promotion, your traffic is all going to the actual domain. So subdomains are fine. Just keep in keep or uh, excuse me, add-on domains are fine. Just keep in mind that they are all the sites that are add-ons to that primary domain all share the same IP. So you know you don't want to be linking together or anything like that. Um, but it is it is okay aside from that. Just keep in mind that they share the same IP. Getting your sites on diverse data centers. So there are some cases where it makes sense like I've said you know a private blog network primarily with backlinking that's really um, what it comes down to if you're building backlinks um, from other sites that you own then you want to get them on different uh, data centers now you can have you know a small percentage of them on the same hosting account on the same data center that's fine you're you know once you get past you know say a hundred or so it's going to be really difficult uh, you know to get hundreds and hundreds of different data centers you know one site per data center you don't have to get that you know that involved with it you just want to have a nice natural uh, spread uh, geographically uh, with your data centers because that's natural you know one site just naturally is going to get backlinks from you know they might get uh, most of their links from say the US and UK and Canada and then but it's also natural to get a few spread out you know in India and you know Africa wherever um, that's natural if they all come from one uh, focused geographical location that's a pretty big red flag So again, you don't, that doesn't mean that you need to get every single one of your sites on a different data center. Um, you can just go through, get a few, you know, depending on how big your, your blog network is, you know, if it's 50 sites, um, you could get away with, you know, maybe even one hosting account that has several different data, data centers or two or three, um, and that would be perfectly fine. If you have several hundred sites, you might want to look into, you know, getting them spread across, you know, maybe five different uh, hosting companies that have several different data centers per company. SEO hosting companies, companies that focus on SEO hosting, um, that provide hosting, usually, and I, you know, I haven't gone through and looked at every single offer out there, so I'm not saying they're all horrible, um, but the ones I know about that I've seen do not resolve the problem. They don't diversify enough because it, it would be extremely difficult to offer something like that at an affordable price because they would have to have data centers in you know 10 20 different countries around the world you know spread out around the world um, and if if someone just went out and bought 
you know, created accounts at these different companies um, and just kind of white labeled it, it would be a very expensive service. So most of the SEO hosting companies are not any good. They've already been identified by Google. Google knows about them. They see, you know, they see the data centers. And it's just, I personally would just stay away from them. Data center diversity is more important than class C diversity or even server diversity. So a lot of people talk about class C diversity, um, which is, you know, an IP address gets broken down into A, B, C, and D, and you want to get the class C um, different, not the same, for each of your sites. Well, that's good, but they're still on the same data center, or they can still be on the same data center, and usually the companies that advertise uh, multiple class Cs have most of their sites on the same data center, so it doesn't solve the problem. So data center diversity is what's really important. That's the most important thing. You want to get different geographical locations for your backlinks. So if you have a private blog network, you need to make sure that you get them spread out across several different data centers. Use companies with multiple data centers um, and or $1 hosting companies if needed. Um, the one dollar hosting companies I try to stay away from them just because they're used for spam a lot of times but there are a lot of them out there um, that are decent that, that are perfectly fine to use and if you're getting into just you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sites or even thousands of sites you want to try to build just an enormous private blog network um, you'd almost have to get into those uh, dollar hosting companies but for the most part you can get away with hosting companies that have multiple data centers like site 5 um, site5.com, S-I-T-E, the number 5.com, uh, host, host9.com, H-O-S-T-N-I-N-E.com, and there are several others that have multiple data centers that you can get your sites built on. So um, that's really the, the, the best way to do it. Um, but like I said, if you have hundreds and hundreds or thousands of sites, then you'd have to get into the dollar hosting as well. Use Web 2.0 properties too, um, just for backlinking in general, um, because that diversifies your data centers. Um, the Web 2.0 properties, you know, no matter how many sites you build on WordPress.com or Blogger, um, you know, they're all going to be coming from the same data centers, but they have multiple data centers for one thing, and they're trusted data centers. You know, people, the Blogger and and WordPress for the most part is trusted with Google. That you know, that do certainly doesn't mean that. Uh, you know, creating a WordPress.com blog or a Blogger blog is instantly going to get you trust, um, <clears throat> but they're, they already have a certain amount of trust, um, just the, the root domain, and that will give you some better diverse uh, data center IPs. So using Web 2.0 properties is, is a good idea too. We offer those at Rank Crew, um, the pretty popular package there. Um, but whether you do that or you, you build them on your own, that's also a good, good way to diversify that, uh, those data centers. So that's it. Um, I've gone over pretty much, for the most part, the most important aspects of hosting and SEO. I hope it's been helpful. Thanks.